today's video is from z transforms and in today's video i am going to explain what is this linearity property and how it is used to solve the problems from z transforms see let me explain you if a and b are any constants and f of n and g of n be any discrete functions then z transforms of a into f of n plus b into g of n can be written as a times of z of n plus b times of z z of n so this is the linear property and using this i am going to solve few questions here so using linearity property so we have to find out z transform of a n square plus b n plus c and the next one z transform of n minus 1 whole square and again z transform of 2n minus 5 sin of n pi by 4 plus 3 a power 4 and meanwhile i am going to recollect few formulae that is z transform of uh, n is equal to so n is equal to this is z by z minus 1 whole square and the next one z transform of n square is nothing but this is z square plus z by z minus 1 whole cube and the next thing is needed here is z transform z transform of sin nt is equal to z into sin t by this one is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. So, if you recollect all these formulae, so I am going to solve using linearity property. The first question here is z transform of a n square plus b n plus c. Using linearity property, so I am going to solve this one. So, a we can bring it outside. So, this can be written as a times of z of n square plus b times of z of n plus c into this is z of 1. And here, this can be written as what is z transform of n square? z transform of n square is nothing but this is z square plus z by this is z minus 1 whole cube. And next one, what is z of n? So, this is z by z minus 1 whole square and what is z of 1? This is nothing but z by this is z minus 1. So, please remember z transform of 1 is equal to this is z by z minus 1. So, these are all the formulae. If I apply these formulae, so here is the is the question. So, that is a times of this is z square plus z plus this one is uh, by z minus 1 whole cube. And next one, this is bz by z minus 1 whole square and this is a cz by z minus 1. And here, if I take z minus, so here, if I take z minus 1 whole cube as an LCM, then this will be a times of this is z square plus z plus bz into z minus 1 and next this is cz into this is z minus 1 whole square. So, this is the solution according to the linearity property. So, we have to apply the functions in z transform and again we have to solve it. And the next question here is z transform of for the second solution here is z transform of z transform of n minus 1 whole square. So, this is n minus 1 whole square. So, this can be written as z transform of a minus b whole square is nothing but this is a square plus b square minus 2 a b. And using our uh, linearity properties, this is z of n square plus z of 1 minus 2 times of this is z of n. So, all these formulas are ready here. So, what is z of n square? So, z of n square is nothing but this is z square. See here, z square plus z by z minus 1 whole cube. This is z square plus z by z minus 1 whole cube. And what is z of 1? z of 1 is nothing but this is z by z minus 1. And 2 times of z of n is nothing but z by z minus 1 whole square. So, if I apply all the formulae and if I take the LCM, that will be the answer. So, this is z minus 1 whole cube. If I take as LCM, this is z square plus z plus z times of this is z minus 1 whole square minus 2 times of this is z minus 1. So, if I solve this, this will be z square plus z 
plus z times of this is nothing but a square plus b square minus 2b and next one this is minus 2z square and this one is plus 2z by z minus 1 whole square and see here this is z square plus z and this value is z cube plus z minus 2z square this is minus 2z square plus 2z by again z minus 1 whole cube and now see there is only one z cube so this is a z cube and if you see here z squares so this is z square this is z square and this is z square and this is uh, minus 4 plus 1 so this will be minus 3 z square and the remaining are z plus z plus 2 z so which is equal to this is 4 z by z minus 1 whole cube and this is nothing but the z transform of so this is nothing but z transform of z minus 1 whole square according to the linearity property and the next one the third question here is z transform of 2n into so this is z transform of uh, 2n minus 5 times of so this is the question so now we have to give the solution for the third question that is z transform of 2n minus 5 sin n pi by 4 plus 3 a power 4 and now here are the formulae and using this if i substitute each and everything according to the linearity property i have to take two outside this is 2 times of z of n minus 5 uh, times of z of this is a sign of n pi by 4 and next one 3 a power 4 into this is z of 1. So here this is nothing but see here so this is nothing but 2 times of what is z of n. So z of n is nothing but z by z minus 1 whole square. So, if I substitute this is z by z minus 1 whole square. So, z by z minus 1 whole square minus 5 times of. Next, sin n t can be written as z into z into sin t. So, what is t here? t is nothing but pi by 4. That is a sin pi by 4 divided by this value is nothing but z square. So, this is z square minus 2z cos t. So, this is cos pi by 4 plus 1. Clear? So, if I substitute in place of T as pi by 4 in the formula, then this is 3 a power 4. What is Z of 1? Z of 1 is nothing but Z by Z minus 1. This is Z by, this is Z minus 1. Now, see here, this is 2 Z by Z minus 1 whole square. And the next one here is, this is 5 Z into sin pi by 4 is nothing but 45 degrees minus z square plus 2z into cos pi by 4 plus 1 plus this one is 3 a power 4 z by this is z minus 1 as you know that sin pi by 4 value sin 45 sin pi by 4 value is nothing but sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and again cos pi by 4 value is also 1 by root 2 if i substitute here then this will be 2z times of. So, this value is 2z by z minus 1 whole square minus 5z into 1 by root 2 by. This value is z square minus 2z by 1 by root 2 plus 1 plus this is 3a power 4 into z by this is z minus 1. So, this value is nothing but 2z by z minus 1 whole square. And this is uh, 5z by root 2 and this value is nothing but. So, if I cancel this as 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2z by root 2 plus 1. So, if I cancel 1 root 2 then this will be a power 4z by this is z minus 1. And this value is 2z by z minus 1 whole square minus 5z by root 2 by this value is z square minus this value is root 2z plus 1 plus 3a power 4z by this is z minus 1. So, this is the solution for z of 
2 power n minus 5 sin n pi by 4 plus 3 a power 4 and this is using a linearity property and this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching if you really like please practice and pass it on to your friends